hello all so in the start of this video series the very first video which we had created was related to ICS environment creation now in that video we saw how can we download and configure ICS secure agent on Windows environment now in this video instead of using Windows environment we'll see how can we download same ICS secure agent and configure that on Linux environment and for that I already have my Linux virtual machine created all right and we'll follow through the documentation provided by informatica about that so there are around like nine steps they have given and we'll go through those steps one by one so as they have mentioned the very first step is log on to your runtime environment or log on to your ICS environment and select runtime environments option so let me go to the administration administration part so that's the first step go open the administrator and select runtime environments so I already have that runtime environment uh, option selected. Now in second option, what they are saying is download the secure agent. So let me go ahead and download the secure agent. The moment you click on that download option, uh, the pop-up will tell you two options like Windows and Linux. So as I mentioned, we are going to configure that on Linux environment. So obviously I will select the Linux 64-bit option. Let me copy this installation token and let me save it somewhere so what I will do is let me open the file editor okay instead of that okay let me copy that uh, installation token and click on download it's getting downloaded and meanwhile let me go ahead and open terminal So that will let me go to my home directory and downloads. Okay, ls l. So it doesn't have execute permission. Let me maximize that. So as you can see, it doesn't have execute permission. So let me grant the permission ch mod 764 ls l perfect and so it has permissions now and let me just uh, start the installation so the installation has started so this installation steps are very easy okay so as you can see here it's getting downloaded on my home directory uh, that's my user id and un underneath uh, in file agent is the folder so let me just copy this again and let me so that's where I am going to install my runtime environment okay next click install okay so my installation is finished let me go back to the documentation so we have installed this one save the installation program to the directory on the machine where you want to run the secure agent so this part we have already finished when the installation completes navigate to the following directory so we had to go to this agent core apps agent core directory so let me just navigate over there uh, let me just see Okay. Paste. And as they have mentioned, we have to go to agent core directory. So cd apps slash agent core, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we are there. Now let's go back to our instructions page. Now what they are saying is to start the secure agent, enter the following command. So infra agent must be the shell script and startup is the option so let me go back so ls hyphen l so in fi agent so what i will do in fa agent dot sh and startup startup perfect so this should so the secure agent starts okay you must register the agent using the username that you use to access the informatica intelligent cloud services so i need to provide my username 
in order to register my SQL agent. So that also we had seen in very first video that we had to register it. So if you don't copy the, so this is all fine. And that's the command to register our secure agent. To add the agent to the own secure agent group, you need to use the following command. So let me just copy this. What I will do is, so this is my command. So my username I need to specify and my installation token. So that's the very reason I had copied that separately. That's it. So let me just paste it here. Perfect. So if everything looks good, Okay, so now it prompted me login succeeded. Let me go back. Okay, so I think that's all. So you can check the registration status. So let me just copy this guy again. Perfect, it's true. So now what we'll do is, let me just go back and refresh this page. Now, currently I don't see that my uh, runtime environment. Let me see, so on-prem runtime environment should appear and it is appearing. Let me just open that. So those services are coming up. I mean, it may take some time, but eventually they will come up. For now, it's just in starting up state. Meanwhile, what we'll do is we'll also see how can we uninstall that? How can we stop and uninstall our uh, secure agent environment which we had configured just now? So for that, there is a separate link so as you can see here you will find those instructions on this page or on this link okay so what they are mentioning is to uninstall the secure agent on linux you need to do the following steps open the command line navigate to the agent core directory all right so this is the main path and then app and agent core for subfolder enter the following command in the command line to stop the secure agent linux process infra agent shut down so it's the same command so infra agent was the same command which we saw earlier for starting up that agent so start up so instead of start up we had to use shut down okay to uninstall the secure agent just run rm so basically we have to delete all the files okay in that directory so let me go back let's see the status again so at least if one it is taking time. Let me just navigate to Okay, what I will do is I will pause this video and once all the services are running, then we'll come back. All right, so let me do that. So three of my services are already up and only one service is still pending. So what we'll do is not wait and we'll see how can we now uninstall. We'll see the uninstallation part of that. So as they have mentioned, let me hit this command, infra agent shutdown. So let me go back. Let me just quickly refresh and we'll see if, okay, one is still pending, but that's okay. Let me go back. So what I will do, instead of start up, I will use shut down. Okay, now it's still not finished. So let me go back. We'll see why it is not finished. Now, if I refresh this guy, the service which is still, still in startup step, it's already stopped, right? Now, remaining services are still running. So what I will do is, I will stop those service manually. So integration component, uh, then 
common integration component it stop data integration server I stop this guy also and mass ingestion is the next one it's all all are stopped so basically all are stopped now if I go back let me just these all got stopped automatically and this one is stopped by myself so let me just stop it and let me again run it so everything is in shutdown state all right now after that what they have mentioned is just remove remove all the direct all the folders from our installation directory so let me go back so cd yes so this is where this is my installation the main installation directory and as they have mentioned and perfect so now basically in this video now we have successfully installed and configured ISAS secure agent on Linux environment and we also saw how can we uninstall that thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video